Afterworld is a computer animated American science fiction television series created by writer Brent V. Friedman and artist, filmmaker Michael DeCourcy. Its naturalistic future setting, modeled after traditional Western movie motifs, presents an atypical science fiction backdrop for the narrative. Friedman served as executive producer, along with Stan Rogo. Afterworld premiered in the United States on YouTube and Bud.tv on February 28, 2007 with the production website being launched in May, 2007. The series quickly built a loyal fanbase but did not really take off until August, 2007 when it was re-released on MySpace. In conjunction with that release the series was also released in Australia on the Sci-Fi Channel, as a mobile podcast, and as a web series on US-based Crackle. The series was also made available by Sony Pictures Television International as 13 half-hour episodes for traditional broadcasters. Topic. Plot. After traveling to New York City on a business trip, Russell Shoemaker wakes to find all electronic technology dead and more than 99% of the human race missing. Driven by a need to discover the truth and determined to return to his family, he embarks on a journey to his home in Seattle, while recording and telling all of the events in his journal. Afterworld is the story of Russell's 3,000-mile trek across a post-apocalyptic America as he encounters the strange new societies rebuilding themselves. Along the way, he also attempts to solve the mystery of what caused this global event, which survivors refer to as the Fall. In addition to new forms of government, Russell discovers that technology has failed due to a persistent electromagnetic pulse, a product of a collection of satellites that was activated almost simultaneously to the fall. An additional side effect of the EMP is the rapid mutation of many forms of life, including Shoemaker himself. He describes that his night vision has improved dramatically, along with his endurance. Other examples are seen in cattle Russell happens across, which are dying of a previously unheard form of necrotizing fasciitis. Russell's journey eventually brings him to a nearly deserted San Francisco, and the headquarters of an organization known as the Parthia Group, who had developed a form of nanotechnology, which identified humans with a particular genetic makeup. Topic. Cast Russell, the Walker, Shoemaker. Russell was an American advertising executive and the husband of Janelle and father of Kizzy, from Seattle, Washington. In hope of scoring big by spreading his campaign, he travels to New York City. The next morning, he wakes up and finds all technology disabled and most of humanity has vanished. Russell resolves to start traveling home to Seattle to find out what happened to his family. During his journey he comes across many people, creating friends and enemies, as well as does his own investigative efforts into the cause of the fall. From what he can find, the theories he hears and also from various factions and individuals during his journey. As time goes by, Russell gradually uncovers the truth and has an increasing effect on the beginnings of the new world. In the season one finale, Russell finally reaches his home and, upon learning Janelle did not survive, but Kizzy did and is in Parthia's custody, now resolves to get his daughter back. He is the protagonist and narrator of Afterworld. Janelle. Jan. Shoemaker, Janelle was a social work supervisor and the wife of Russell and mother to his daughter, Kizzy. In the season one finale, Russell learns Janelle was among the 99% of the human race disappeared by the fall. Kizzy. Kiz. Shoemaker, Kizzy was a fifth grader, and the daughter of Russell and Janelle Shoemaker. She is mentioned as being close to her parents and having high intelligence as she was in accelerated classes. She is older and wiser than her years imply. In the season one finale, Russell learns that while Janelle did not survive the fall, 
Kizzy did, and Gwen saved her from the Seattle labor camp. Currently, Kizzy is in the custody of the Parthia Group. Officer Delondra Baines, Delondra was a no-nonsense but fair NYPD Mounted Police Officer with the NYPD Mounted Patrol Division. Delondra witnessed the fall firsthand during her night beat, the event had a profound impact on her. Delondra resolved to help keep the peace in the aftermath that followed, and soon became friends with Russell. After Russell leaves, however, the New York community collapses and disbands and, disillusioned, Delondra wanders the country until she is contacted by the missionaries of New Eden. Converted to their belief system, Delondra is sent to kill the Walker who she does not know is Russell Shoemaker as one of the horsemen, but is convinced by Russell her belief system is false. After foiling the New World Historian's plan to ship false information worldwide, and replace it with the truth from Russell's diary, Delondra leaves the United States to ensure the books reach their destinations, resolving to make spreading the truth her purpose in the New World. Eli, Eli was originally a wealthy jeweler in New York, but, in 1999, had a breakdown after a paranoid Eli shot and killed an innocent man who he thought was trying to kill him but actually just wanted a cigarette. Eli lost everything and became homeless on New York's streets. After the fall, Eli rescues Russell when he is severely injured in a bicycle accident. While Eli does not disclose the reasons behind his homelessness, he gives Russell the idea that carrying a gun will only cause more violence and problems, so Russell takes Eli's advice to heart and discards his firearm that Delondra gave him. Eli would appear several more times in the course of Russell's journey, always giving him sound advice when he needed it, and then moving on. It is implied Eli is actually a ghost, as in the dream Eli appeared to Russell, he explained he tried and possibly succeeded in killing himself via overdose. Jack Hastings, Jack was a United States congressman who ascended to the position of Speaker of the House of Representatives, making him the third most powerful man in the United States. After the fall, Russell, while raiding Hastings's mansion for vital supplies and information, discovers from reading several documents in Hastings' office, that he could be a possible terrorist and key figure involved in the fall. Later on, however, it is revealed that, while he is a member of the Parthia group, the fall itself was an accident. For reasons unknown, Hastings and Parthia have been monitoring Russell's journey and took Kizzy into custody after her liberation by Gwen. Russell is now demanding a meeting with Hastings. John J. D. Daggett, J. D. was an insurance salesman who experienced a life-changing awakening when he witnessed his beloved son Jonah's disappearance during the fall even getting a picture of the exact moment he vanished. Sinking into depression, J.D. soon gained the belief God had caused the fall and spared J.D. for the purpose of rebuilding society in a more religious fashion. To this end, J.D. created a religious cult in New Eden, PA, with J.D. its self-appointed leader and prophet. In truth, J.D. is a psychotic self-deluded madman who sought total control over his followers and total destruction of anything contradicting his beliefs. Russell took away J.D.'s proof, the picture, thus robbing him of the ability to grow his movement, and so J.D. has made many efforts to hunt down and kill Russell, all of which have failed. Arnold Schaefer Ph.D. Arnold was originally a Maryland University teacher as the department chair of anthropology, with a Ph.D. in political evolution. Following the fall, and having always been a steam train enthusiast due to it being a safer energy and fuel source, fully restored an old locomotive steam train and brought together a group of teachers and scholars named the New World Historians, traveling the country, operating out of the steam train, spreading the word and reporting news on different areas of the United States. Arnold sought not only to make their point of view, among the many circulating among the survivors, the most known and accepted, but to write a new history of the world itself. Arnold initially approached Russell as a friend and offered him the chance to make history, to join his group, and in so doing get back to Seattle in a month. 
Russell, taken in and impressed by the group, accepted, only to learn the actual truth from Paul the contrarian Krantz, a conspiracy theorist who was killed by the New World Historians for the secret memo that revealed who the New World Historians really were, field operatives of the Parthia group, seeking to spread their version of the truth instead of what actually happened. After Russell fended off Arnold's efforts to have him hunted down by bounty hunters, conflicts seemed to subside. Russell was forced to defeat a smear campaign launched by Arnold, who tried to label him as a criminal and terrorist. Later they battled again when Arnold was tasked with destroying all evidence of Parthia's links to the fall and spread their version of the truth worldwide. To keep the number of people who knew the truth small, Arnold executed his own men after destroying the headquarters of the company that manufactured the nanomachines used in The Fall, and then was subdued and held at gunpoint by Russell, who gloated that Arnold's efforts to spread their lies had failed and instead replaced by the truth by Russell and his allies. Arnold was then executed by Sabu. Charles and Sabu, a pair of army soldiers who became professional mercenaries following the fall. The men came into employment of the New World Historians, and were tasked with hunting down and killing Russell and retrieving the incriminating Parthia group memo he stole by whatever means necessary. Russell evaded pursuit, and much later killed Charles in a brutal fistfight with a knife to the chest. When Arnold and the New World Historians attacked the company that manufactured the nanomachines used in The Fall to destroy all evidence, Sabu, having witnessed Arnold executing his own men to eliminate all witnesses, makes peace with Russell and, after escaping the building before it is destroyed, Sabu executes Arnold and walks away from Russell. Topic broadcast history Bud.tv, February 28, 2007 Present YouTube.com, February 28, 2007 Present MySpace.com, August 2007 Present Sci-Fi Channel, August 2007 Present Views.com, March 2008 Present Channel 4 to 2008 AXN East Asia, May, 2008 Present Daily, 7 p.m. Sin, Phil, HKAXN Beyond, Philippines, Singapore, Hong Kong, May 2008 present daily 9 p.m. Sin, Phil, HK Prozeben German TV, July 1, 2008 to August 31, 2008 daily AXN Bulgaria, August 9, 2008 present Monday to Friday at 7 p.m. AXN Czech and Hungary? Present every day at 6 p.m. Go TV South Africa May 2009 Present Monday to Friday 10.30 p.m. STS Russia Summer 2011 Weekend 6.00 to 8.00 a.m. Season 1 The complete series 1 was also released as 130 episodes of about 2 to 3 minutes each. Location 1, New York City, NY. Episode 1, The Big Day. Episode 2, Detritus. Episode 3, Purgatory. Episode 4, Delondra. Episode 5, Central Park. Episode 6, Hibakusha. Episode 7, Homeland Insecurity Episode 8, Darwin's Ghost Episode 9, Man of the House Episode 10 to 3000 Miles Location 2, Philadelphia, PA Episode 11, Call Me Eli Episode 12, Terror Within Episode 13, House of the Speaker Episode 14, Detour Episode 15, Revelations Location 3, New Eden, PA Episode 16, New Eden Episode 17, Divine Intervention Episode 18, Polaroid Episode 19, Devil Among Us Episode 20, Battle Lines Location 4, Aurora, O Episode 21, Aurora Episode 22, In Short Supply Episode 23, Messenger Episode 24, Mr. Shoemaker Goes to Ohio 
Episode 25, The First Horseman Location 5, Peebles, O. Episode 26 to 47 minutes. Episode 27, Subterranean. Episode 28, Looking Glass. Episode 29, A Quiet Place. Episode 30, An Offering to Uctan Allocation 6, Louisville, Kentucky. Official site says Southern Ohio, which is actually part of the previous location. Episode 31, The New World Historians Episode 32, Fail Safe Episode 33, Conflicting Reports Episode 34, The River Episode 35, Conspiracies Can Come True Location 7, Nashville, TN Episode 36, Rose Mansion Episode 37, Nashville Episode 38, Spontaneous Combustion Episode 39, Temptations Episode 40, The Second Horseman Location 8, Memphis, TN Episode 41, Graceland Episode 42, The Virus Episode 43, Control Group Episode 44, Do No Harm Episode 45, A Good Lee Location 9, Ozarks Episode 46, Truth or Consequences Episode 47, Off the Grid Episode 48, The Hunter Episode 49, Wanted Episode 50, R.I.P. Location 10, Selena, OK Episode 51, Oklahoma Episode 52, Electricity Episode 53, Who Are You Episode 54, Parthia Episode 55, Gone, Baby, Gone Location 11, Wichita Kansas Episode 56, The Cobalt Clock Episode 57, Team Alpha Episode 58, Faith in Science Episode 59, Eva Destruction Episode 60, Holiday Spirit Location 12, Amarillo, TX Episode 61, Morning Star Episode 62, Warning Signs Episode 63, Complications Episode 64, What Child Is This? Episode 65, The Brother Location 13, Santa Fe New Mexico Episode 66, Manhunt Episode 67, The Settlement Episode 68, Sanctuary Episode 69, Fight or Flight Episode 70, Change of Heart Location 14, Sedona, AZ Episode 71, Welcome to the Jungle Episode 72, Something in the Air Episode 73, Burden of Guilt Episode 74, Prey Episode 75, Deja Vu Location 15, Ghana Episode 76, Helpless Episode 77, Gone to Ghana Episode 78, Solitary Episode 79, Almost Home Episode 80, The Remedy Location 16, Flagstaff, AZ Episode 81, The Walker Episode 82, Bad Reputation Episode 83, Ultimatum Episode 84, Hidden Agenda Episode 85, The Ever-Changing Truth Location 17, Needles, CA Episode 86, The Cartel Episode 87, A Window of Opportunity Episode 88, The Berserker Episode 89, Like Clockwork Episode 90, Fair Trade Location 18, Las Vegas Nevada Episode 91, The Suicide Squad Episode 92, Debt to Society Episode 93, Showtime. Episode 94, Double Bill Episode 95, Convergence Location 19, Red Rock, NV Episode 96, The Third Horseman Episode 97, Change of Plans Episode 98, End of the Road Episode 99, The Grim Reaper Episode 100, Monumental Location 20, Mount Charleston, NV Episode 101, Road to Redemption Episode 102, NORAD Episode 103, Prisoners of Fate Episode Episode 104, Pushing Buttons Episode 105, Simple Pleasures Location 21, Lake City Episode 106, Lake City Episode 107, What Lies Beneath Episode 108, The Devil Inside Episode 109, Bottom Line Episode 110, Pathologic Allocation 22, Sierra Forest Episode 111, The Fourth Horseman Episode 112, Bitter Pill Episode 100. 
113, Story of the Gun Episode 114, A Little Help from My Friends Episode 115, Treasure as Land Location 23, San Francisco, California Episode 116, The Shipment Episode 117, First Edition Episode 118, On the Record Episode 119, The Sting, Part 1 Episode 120, The Sting, Part 2 Location 24, San Rafael, CA Episode 121, A New Chapter Episode 122, Project, Continuum Episode 123, Truth in the Clouds Episode 124, Matter of Time Episode 125, Unholy Alliance Location 25, Seattle Washington Episode 126, North by Northwest Episode 127, The Emerald City Episode 100 128, Shoemaker and Associates Episode 129-809 W. Blaine Street. Episode 130, When the Levee Breaks <laughs> Afterworld, Global Contact Sony published a mobile game based before the events of Season 2, but after the catastrophic planetary event known as The Fall, caused 99% of the world's population to disappear, along with almost all technology. This is a mobile adventure game where different survivors journey the world in search of their families, going from continent to continent, encountering daring adventures in cities such as Paris, Seoul, Sydney, and Rio de Janeiro. The players confront each challenge and battle their enemies as they struggle to create communication towers to allow the world to regain global contact. It was launched in September 2008. The narrative of the game offers a preview of Season 2 which never aired. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency subnet First revealed through an ARG alternate reality game, a UK exclusive online viral series called Emergency Subnet for Channel 4 starred the character Maya Stern, played by Natalie Pownall, as a spin-off of Afterworld. It was produced to help promote the launch of the American animated series in the UK. Like Russell, Maya was dealing with the effects of the fall and being alone in London, England and would document her day-to-day -day life through video blogs and journal entries using the emergency subnet. See also List of apocalyptic and post-apocalyptic fiction Midnight Nation